I don't know if you've noticed, you have never seen me in pants. And you never will. I did the pants thing. I did the pants thing. In high school, I would dry my jeans every morning before leaving for school. I would put my Abercrombie and or American Eagle jeans in the dryer because I did not want to see any loose fabric. That was how tight I wore on my jeans. I remember the moment when I was like, I quit. I quit pants. We were on our way back from the beach and I was wearing jeans. And I was like, why do I do this to myself? Why am I making my own prison? Life is hard enough. I literally, from that moment on, detested jeans. When I say I don't wear pants anymore, it was from that moment on, no more pants. No more buttons or zippers, no more pants. Tight pants are actually bad for your health. It is a legitimate thing. You can Google that. Life should be enjoyed. I need to be able to have the option to do this. I don't do that, but I need the option. I feel more myself. I feel more like free to be who I am if I'm not weighted down by jeans. I need to have the option to crouch. So in summary, life is too short, jeans bad, leggings, skirts, dresses, elasticated waistbands, good. Don't tell me leggings aren't pants. As long as they're covering my bum, are we good. You feel me? Deal. I thought it'd be fun to show you how I sidestep pants with a couple of my go-to silhouettes that I have done over and over, time and time again, they're tried and true. Even in the dead of winter, you don't have to wear pants. You just don't. You can make your own rules, and that's what this is about. So, outfit silhouette number one is a gorgeous, loose, knit sweater with leggings. This is by a favorite new brand of mine, La Saison Sportive. This top comes with matching pants, and it's gorgeous. It's made with luxury Italian yarn, and it is just the softest piece you've ever, ever felt. I feel more free. I feel more like I could go all day. I could be comfortable. Maybe other people are fine with like feeling like a prisoner in their own body. I'm not. Number one silhouette is a loose, long sweater covering everything with leggings. Another example of this is this. These have lasted me. I have this one and I have a hunter green one. They've lasted me many seasons. I love the sexiness of like the V cut. I would put some like really high boots with this. I do need to find a link to this sweater though because it has been a classic go-to year after year for me. Can you read this tag? I don't know what brand it is. Love by design. That's a Nordstrom thing. I read the tag. I love you. Medium. That, <laughs> I love you. Yeah, love by design. Okay, so this is Nordstrom. I do remember getting this and then a Hunter Green. Love you, be safe. I'm not kidding you. I think I'm going on my fourth season of this sweater. This is another silhouette that is a slam dunk home run. Next silhouette, no pants. I am in love with a long button down. White goes with everything, white and black, classic. You can accessorize however you want it. I adore this top. This is by Redley and Cotton. Pockets, yeah. This is a gorgeous, timeless silhouette. I love a long tunic, preferably collared, because that gives it a nice, smart look to it. This is my go-to many, many times when it's just cold, and I'll add a beautiful coat or jacket on top of this and you're ready for anything. Now I wanna show you how dresses can be winterized. You ready? Okay, I'm so excited about this dress. I don't think I've ever been excited about a dress before the way I am excited for this dress. I just got this line in by Beyond by Vera. Her gorgeous Positano, I think this is actually the Capri design, but her entire new spring line is inspired 
by Italy. And I just am in love with this dress. Now it is, it is March 1st when I'm filming this, but yesterday was February and I wore this twice in the last week. So I worn it in February. Um, but what I did is pair it with this brand new Darling, beautiful sweater by Darling. Oh my gosh, I love Darling. Everything they do is perfect. So if I've got a dress like this, which these are my favorite silhouettes, the collared maxi dress with pockets, because here's why. You can wear a sweater with it and well, there's gonna be static. Not only can you wear a sweater with a dress like this, which is just so chic, but I pop the collar out of the neck. Just for like a continuity to see the same fabric above and below. It's so beautiful. This is my go-to way of avoiding pants. And if you have a dress that's lined, this is a spring dress, it is thin, but if you've got a dress that's lined, you're warm, honey. Love this silhouette and I love this sweater. This sweater by Darling is absolutely magical. It's so soft. It's so soft. And the cut is so good. It is so chic. It's incredible. So this is what I'll do with dresses. I add a sweater and then I also love doing this with maxi skirts and I will show you that now with one of my favorite block printed Etsy skirts. I always kind of tuck in the side, one of the sides of the front. This darling sweater is like so to die for. I always try to tuck in the string for the skirt and then I give it a little fold over something like this and you are so warm and cozy. This is an effortless look. I love tucking in a chunky sweater because it gives you a shape, whereas you probably wouldn't have one otherwise. So this is a great silhouette. And last but not least, the pants that I will wear. Unequivocally and undisputed yes to these pants. Knitwear, anything that makes me feel like I'm wearing gauchos, honestly, but not gauchos. These are the matching pants to the top I wore in the first portion of this try on. I love wearing these. These are so easy and they're so luxurious and they're chic. I just feel so at home anywhere I go. They're so slimming. I honestly am in love with these pants or this other kind that I will show you that I just got in from Darling. This is all you need. Keeps you warm, you're chic, making your own rolls. That's what I'm all about, baby. I'll show you the pants that just got in from Darling and I might need a size adjustment, but these new pants are very similar to these gorgeous loose fitting ones that I just I wear all the time. So, see those. I just got this shipment from Darling and I'm already, <sighs> I love the bell bottom shape they have. They're loose, they're really chic. First of all, you've got a beautiful pleating down the front, which is so slimming. The flow is so good. Do not focus on how long they are. I will be hemming them with actually, um, it's something called stitch witchery. I need to order some more of this. They feel like butter. So today my mom is coming over and we're gonna do a couple of things in the house. I love when she comes. She helps me just reorganize stuff and it's good to have another set of eyes helping you organize. It is almost 10 o'clock. We oh have been cleaning gosh. all day, but this is the time of night when mom was like, wait, let's reorganize this entire entrance. Basically what we did is this gardenia inspired my mom and I actually, I've long felt that this room, cause it's kind of a, what do you do with it room? I've often felt that I need a circular table. This is our kitchen table, but we never sit at it. We never eat at the kitchen table over there tucked in front of the cabinets where I film a lot. We just don't. This 
is the most beautiful entry dressing that I can imagine. So we're kind of like moving everything around. We're moving the bar cart. What are you doing? <laughs> you had a was, sneaky look on your I'm face. I'm dreaming and scheming. <laughs> we're gonna move the bar cart. I'll have a little cart. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love when mom comes over because it's like, we having get in trouble. Steven's at the silent retreat. So when he gets back, he's gonna walk in and be like, what y'all do? This is where the table was. <laughs> I actually have a table in the crawl space that can go here. It's not quite as big, but it, it it's just what we need. I love when mom comes over. Teacher's assistant, look at Steven's book. It says TA copy. I love it. Teacher's assistant. Yeah, I know. That's how he paid for grad school. He was the teacher's assistant. Of course he was, I love it. <laughs> He literally writes the code for engineering now. What are you gonna do with the book cover? It's in your console and you're leaving me alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is how messy my office looks. So this is another table I've got. I've got a similar one to this in the crawl space. We're gonna try over in the cabinets. While we're in here, I thought I would show you the headway I've made on the newest upcoming print. Get excited. So I gotta get to bed because tomorrow we are heading to Birmingham. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We are finally at this shop. I have been dying to check out downtown Birmingham. Spring has sprung. What a beautiful experience at that garden store. I found the perfect terracotta pot for the gardenia topiary and saucer. So darling. So I read about gardenia and what I read is that it doesn't like for the roots to be too wet. So either drilling more holes under your pot is recommended or you can put like rocks at the bottom. So that's what I've done. I've gone out. I actually literally smashed this piece with a hammer. It's just some leftover from building. So now that I have the gravelly situation at the bottom, I'm gonna get some potting soil and pot this up. So I potted up the gardenia in this gorgeous terracotta pot and I've watered it a couple times. It might be a little full, but that's okay. I'm letting it kind of 
packed down. I've really watered it. Like it is, it is soaked in all of this water. I like waited until it soaked it in and then I poured in even more. So I'm letting it get happy in the pot. So now I need to water my orchids and I'm gonna add moss at the top. So to water them, the container they're in, I'm gonna run water through here and let it drain out really good before I add the moss on top, which will lock in the moisture. Watered and drained. I love mixing Spanish and reindeer moss for this. And I'm gonna put the orchid freshly watered back in the studio. I um, went to a shower this past weekend and they gave us all flowers. They were like, oh my gosh, the hydrangeas are dead. I was like, let me show you. So this is hot water I put in here. So I'm going to give this about an hour or two and I'm gonna come back and check on her, see if I can bring her back to life. And just like that, we are back in business. I took the leaf off of the hydrangea because if a hydrangea has already come back from the dead, the leaf is just going to take water away from the blooms. I absolutely love what we did and the terracotta pot is perfect. I adore when mom comes over. She gives me the best ideas. I'm going to switch out these frames that I just bought to have something that I've painted and I'm not quite sure, but it's coming along. I'm really excited. And then this is a much smaller table that I had in the crawl space, but I think it's gonna be just fine here because we never really eat over here. We don't sit over here and eat. We're up and doing stuff in here. So this might just be perfect.